Hey everybody, it's still water. Okay, I'm gonna pick up where I left off in the last video. Uh, just real quick, how we got to where we are. Um, the quest, I followed the quest line that showed up after I unlocked spear fighters in the research tree. And in that quest, it takes me over to uh, the continent map. Uh, and I'll show you that when we go back to the main screen because I can't get there right now because I'm stuck in the storyline. So, so uh, in the continent map, you notice here we have the... It, uh, it doesn't require any coins, and I can do this research to get to the uh, this whatever you call it to get to the next uh, scouting the next province. That's what it's called. So I will go and click on that little button for a province that I can that I can scout. This goes incredibly fast the first time. It's not usually anywhere near that fast. And then you click on a province to see what you can do there. So there's three sections in this, and they call these uh, I don't remember the term, um, but in the province, in the province map, or whatever it's called. Uh, let's see, so first off, you basically have to conquer all three of these areas to unlock it and then get the get the bonus and be able to unlock future areas on the map. Um, so, or scout other areas in the map. So I'm gonna go and click on the first one. It tells me it's gonna pay some type of reward. In this case, it's coins. These are, the other two are supplies. I click on it. I can do an attack. You see they got a couple guys here. I can do an attack because it gave me two, um, some quest line gave me two soldiers, or what do they call these? Um, spear fighters, I think they are. And basically, I pick them. I pick them, move them up into the currently selected army bar. You can only you can only fight with eight uh, at a time in these early days for quite a while, I believe. Um, and then you can go ahead and do an attack. It tells you what, how how many defending armies you have over there that you're going to be fighting against. I'll do an attack. I think this tutorial or this. Uh, Storyline piece is going to actually tell me how to place pieces. So I go and click on my movement. Then they move theirs. The computer. And you're not really playing other people here on this on this map. It's all against the computer. Uh, this is where you keep track of which unit's turn it is. Okay, good. And then he's telling me I want to move this guy here. Each different type of troop or whatever has a different, it has a lot of different attributes. We'll talk about those later. And I can directly attack an enemy. So here I can go ahead and direct him because he's within the range of, of the spear fighter. And you see him fighting back and forth. That's pretty cool. He, he beats the guy. He finished the battle. And then now I beat him. And apparently I get to go beat up this guy. And bam. He died too. Yay, I won. Victory. 70, 76. Uh, whatever you call these points. And then, uh, you know, my opponent's army has been defeated. And here's mine. And they took a little bit of a... A little bit of a uh, uh, impact on that, but they're still alive. That's the important thing. Okay, I say okay. Victory. Okay, good. And then here's the map. You notice I completed a quest, apparently. Let's see what that is. And then if I wanted to, before I go there, I could click on this. He's got these other troops. I'm going to come back to this later. I don't want to do this right now, so I'll go next out of here. But you can see what the armies are that are defending these other villages um, and so on. So now I'm going to go. I'm going to go back. Look at the storyline that I just completed, and look research spears. I get uh, which we completed that in the research tree, and now I can go and collect my 175 coins, which is pretty significant. This early in the game, 175 is quite a bit. Now I can build a spear fighter barrack, and I can get an extra 200 supplies as the next, which is that's a pretty good deal too. So I'm going to go back to the overview, and I'm going to go back to the city. And now it's going to try to sell me coins or sell me diamonds, but I'm going to go close that. If you're uh, if you're planning on playing playing diamonds and and you know paying real money to play the game, which yeah I've got nothing against that. Um, they offer some really good deals uh, to get you started and get you get you used to that. It's like just like anything else in the world. Um, like I said, I did it once, fifty bucks, and I got a ton of diamonds. It was like some super deal. And then at the time, you were able to buy rogue hideouts at some special event or something, and it was and those are so rare back then. They were super rare, um, so it. Yeah, I don't know. Everybody plays their game their own way. I, I got nothing against anybody's style. So, uh, quick, I'll pick up my coins. I will come in here. I'm going to build my spear fighter. Back on task. How are we doing on time? Yeah, we're getting close. Four and a half minutes. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and build. And now I want to go down here to the two, two swords, the cross swords, military buildings. Because I've unlocked spear fighters, I can now build them. I click on build. You see, what is it? It is a three by three. These are common sizes you're going to see in here a lot. 3x3, 2x2, 4x3, 4x2, 2x2, whatever. 1x1s. 
So I, I basically am getting off topic here. I go, I go ahead and place that spear fighter. It's building it. What's it take? 20 seconds to build. It tells you what it requires to build it. 170, 170, and a population of 26. So it's going to use up some of my population. While that's building, quick side note, the population up here is what's available. Your overall population is shown in here, which is the demand for happiness is the population 142. So even though I only have 47 available to build stuff, I need to keep happiness for 142. So, hey, look, spear fighters. So now I can go ahead and notice he's, it's a sleepy moon, which means not producing. I can go ahead and train, which I'll go ahead and do. And these train really quick, I think 20 seconds, yeah. I'll click on it again. You notice I can only train one at a time. And I can only build two without unlocking these other slots to build more spear fighters. And I'm going to go ahead and do that now. So it's going to cost me 50, 50 coin, 50 silver per. And then the second one is going to be, or per, for the first one, and then 100 and 100 for the second one. It always gets more expensive. Click on here. He's now in my in my military troop thing. Um, and then, see, I don't have enough to unlock this one because I only have, um, oh, I'm sorry, I got to unlock the first one first. So unlock that. And I do have enough coin to do this one. If I didn't, it would be gray like it showed before. Unlock that. And now I'm just going to train all my troops because early in the game here at this point, and I'm going to probably cut it after this, um, I like to create two of these and have eight troops to just rampage through some of the early uh, stories in the continent map. So let me just do that real quick. I'm going to build a second spear fighter if I can. Different aspects to play the game. We'll talk about that later. Um, let's go ahead and build that. Click this guy, click on it again, go ahead and train the next troop. They only take 20 seconds. Just kind of you know, grind through those real quick. And uh, I'm going to cut here. So if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please leave them below. Um, also, uh, if you have any preferences on uh, your style, if you like to build villages, if you like to build military, do a blend of the two. Um, everybody has a different style. I'm curious what yours is. So go ahead and leave it below. And uh, interested to hear. Uh, thanks a lot. See you in the next video.